Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Market Pulse. I am Majit Mahuli, the founder and mentor at LPAT. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what the indices have been doing and are likely to do in this uh, week. This is going to be an expiry week and also uh, a short uh, week because we have holidays. We, we had holiday Monday and uh, Friday. So it will be a three-day week with a monthly expiry for the indices. Uh, so volatility is expected to probably uh, rise. Uh, on the monthly chart, if you see again, third month of uh, consolidation with the uh, indecision candles. Uh, uh, so we need to wait. The trend is still uh, strong and up. Uh, that's uh, the regular demand zone around 20,200 to 500. But as of now, the trend is up and we'll have to wait for confirmation for crisis to, uh, to take 12% understand which uh, way the prices are moving, uh, especially with the downside. Right now, they are on the upside, uh, the trend. On the weekly chart, if you see last uh, week, we had a very strong fall. Uh, after quite a few number of weeks, we had this kind of candle. And uh, those who are anyways, a very, very compressive kind of uh, candles. And once the fall was expected, it would come straight to its uh, main area which was around 20,800. Uh, now, it's uh, worth noting that uh, we did go below that, but closed again above uh, that area. So there is a chance prices might uh, inch up uh, during this expiry week. Uh, we'll see in a smaller time frame where it is likely to move to. That's the area of uh, Demand zone, not great, I would say, but still it is uh, holding up. Uh, the real demand zone is on the weekly chart all the way here. So that's how the scenario looks. Let me just erase this. Let's go to the daily chart. On the daily chart, uh, if you see, we have, a, we have two supply zones created. That's the number one supply, which is the origin of the fall. Uh, and that's the second level of supply on the daily chart. So early base drop followed by drop base drop. Uh, prices went beyond this demand zone, but again, uh, that was peers. So this demand zone is now violated. Next time we come here, we'll probably move further down. So but it was more like a decoy. It went to smaller time frame demand zone and started moving from there. That's a demand zone where uh, price is likely to come if we fail to break those supply and start turning down. We could even turn from here, uh, but uh, uh, there is a good chance price could probably make an attempt to go towards at least 20 to 200, 300 uh, before it starts coming down. And for the upside, we need these two supplies to be taken off for a fresh uh, rally to start. Right now, it's more of a consolidation uh, range-bound price action, uh, and this week uh, it probably will remain the same. Uh, on, this, on the smaller time frame, what do we see here is uh, that's the main supply again on the 75-minute chart. Uh, no supply zone here, so good chance for prices to move up uh, at least towards, let's say, 20 to 300. Uh, so shorts here will be on confirmation, but there will be good shorts if we get them. That's the area of demand zone from where prices are moving up. So this is going to be a range for uh, Nifty for the next week. Based on the smaller time frame, and right now we are in this supply. Uh, if we, if there is a chance of prices coming down here, uh, it will be worthwhile to look for a confirmation long here because price could again make an attempt to move. So these are going to be your short term trades, or I would say intraday trades. If it come here, you can look at. Uh, uh the price moving after we form uh, we see some consolidation happening and then prices will rise all the way here uh so a slight upward bias uh but overall trend looks uh shaky and we could move towards uh 21,500. uh taking a look quick look at india vix uh india vix is in the demand zone on the weekly chart uh uh, it pierced up again, decoy and came down, but is now low on the curve. Uh, so it might uh, stay here or uh, start moving up a little bit towards 13, 14 areas. Uh, right now we are around at the 12 uh, area range, which is low volatility period, but it needs to be seen how next week uh, this volatility plays out. If uh, markets uh, start becoming more volatile based on any global cues, we could see this moving up. So as of now, our volatility is low. So, 
a look at bank nifty now bank nifty uh, on the monthly chart again no great change it went up and uh, gave up a uh, lot of its gains uh, that's going to be your monthly demand zone the trend is still intact but for the last three months we have been just range bound between let's say 41 48200 and 44600 that range might continue uh, probably uh, till the next couple of months uh, due to our general elections. On the weekly chart, uh, that's the area of supply from where prices are moving down. And that's the area of demand zone. So it's a very narrow range demand zone on the weekly chart. Uh, the next good demand zone on the weekly chart is this one, which has been tested. And there is a chance that price might come here again and start moving up. So this would be the bigger range from 48,000 uh, uh, to 44,500 that could still play out for the next uh, few weeks. Uh, here, after coming down a good uh, bullish move uh, last week towards the end of the week, uh, this might still continue further going towards about 47,500. Uh, let's take a look at whether it's possible based on the daily chart. So that's the main supply which has been uh, hit and prices came down as when it was expected that price will give a retracement. Now we are back into this area of demand zone on the daily chart and started moving up. So compressive price action, price moved up. Uh, there is a good chance that price can again try to scale this area on the daily chart. That's about 47,700. That's, that's probably how far it could go. Uh, this looks bullish. We had a nice gap and that gap sustained. Uh, if we get a pullback to any smaller time frame demand zones, it will be good to go long in bank nifty uh, for short term or maybe even intraday. So on a smaller time frame, let's say that's the area of demand zone. So somewhere close to 46, 600 to 500, you can enter into a long position for a good, uh, maybe the first target for intraday would be 47, 200. And the next target could be somewhere here. So it will keep ranging between these. Uh, so based on uh, your uh, uh, RR, you can uh, trade on either side, so short somewhere here and longs uh, at these areas below 46, 600. So Bank Nifty looks a little bit uh, positive and might move, move up uh, to 47, 300 to 500. Uh, any pullback to uh, smaller time frame demand zones will be good to go long. For this. Hope that helps.